Love indeed is a beautiful thing and it makes the world to go round. Love brought us this far and love will continue to take us further. Oh, what a wonderful night today again. I want to say welcome to everyone out there. My name is Olueto Yolale Kong. Today we are having special and wonderful couple in our midst and they are going to be sharing from the world of experience. Like I said, love brought them here. Love helped them to stay together and love will keep them going further and further. Mm -hmm. Tonight, we have a couple in the house. They've been married for some time and they are well experienced in this journey, an institution called marriage. I have tonight Pastor Ebenezer Oluyombo. He's a retired national elder of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. When you hear a national elder, you mean somebody that has done so much for God served the Lord. He has retired, but he is not tired. And I want to say you are welcome, sir. Thank you. Yes, beside every wonderful and successful man is a beautiful woman. And you know, this man has found favor in the sight of the Lord and has obtained favor indeed. He's looking at the wife, just spying. Let me keep it this way. I was, I've not even introduced my mom, but I'm spying and looking at her. Yes, I have Pastor Mrs. Adebola Oluyombo. She is the Regional Mission Coordinator for RCCG Region 12. That's the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I want to say you're welcome, ma. Thank you, ma. This one, that is still spying and, you know, taking a little peep and looking at you. As if we didn't <laughs> leave the house together today, there is something... Really, really amazing about that. I want to say you're welcome. Thank you, A living you, couple. Yes, we start all things with the word of prayer coming from Pastor Mrs. Uriyombo. Thank you, ma. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you. Blessed Redeemer, we lift you up. Yes, we thank you for a moment like this in your presence. We thank you because you have ordained it today for us. We pray, Almighty God, that you will manifest yourself into, into this assignment in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. You will carry each and every one of us. Mm. And all the listeners at home, my Lord and my Father, they will learn from it, and they will do according to, the, to it too. And at the end, all of us, we shall make heaven. Amen. And our marriage shall be peaceful. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Ma. Thank you for that welcome, word of prayer. Now, the, side, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. And they are here to tell us how this journey started. And the first person that will tell us about the journey, because the Bible says he that finds a wife finds a good thing. And that is why he obtains favor from the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a very long journey. Very, very long journey. Uh, we've known each other for quite some time. We met uh, as a a chaplain uh, call, at least in the chaplain C. The three of us who belong to the chaplain C call. And uh, all along, we used to see each other without any attachment to it. You know, in the chaplain C, everybody it's is more monster. Like a military, military person. Monster. So that's how we have been relating. There was a time we were at a, what's the name? That senior pastor's lodge. My apartment happened to be the first apartment in that. And uh, I have a friend, a member of the chaplaincy too. His house, Almost at the end of the, no, I used to go to him to see him and uh, the uh, wife. And uh, fortunately, or fortunately, her own apartment too, because she was at the extreme end of that earth. So at times we used to meet. On your way? In that, uh, okay, in my apartment. friend's apartment. 
then she, at times she will bring fruits for the family we share together. And for years, that's what I have been doing. And the, but unfortunately, there was a, uh, an incident that happened to me. Before that incident, we were relocated from uh, that apartment to Moses Hall. That's another new apartment. And then her apartment moved a little bit closer to mine. Just by divine arrangement, I don't know. Anytime she wants to visit that family, she has, we pass through my own apartment to her. And anytime that uh, woman wants to visit, they, they, the two of them will pass through your apartment. They pass through my apartment. The incident that happened was that the loss of my beloved wife after about uh, almost 40 years of marriage. And that incident moved us a little bit closer because the woman in question, she will come to her and the two of them, they will visit me. Daddy, how are you going? We hope you are not buying anything in the market. You want to go to the market? And that's how we have been doing for yeah. Then another incident happened again. She lost her only son. She has three issues, two female and a, a boy. She lost the only boy of almost about 37 years of age. That incident moved us a little bit closer because I don't know when the incident happened, I was the first person people called that, have I seen this woman? What's happened? Before I realized that uh, she lost. But that incident moved us a little together. bit closer. And then I decided to be visiting her just to pay her visit. And uh, I was a party to the very arrangement of that boy because she, mm. so that that also moved us closer. Mm. And uh, it just occurred to me the, the closer I begin to feel one kind of uh, affection, to affection her. for her. I remember one day. Boldly, I just kind of, this is what I'm feeling for you. Hey, she fly up. Mm. For more than a week, she took her distance from me. She, mm. she ran away. Completely? Completely. So I decided, ah, what have I done? I started blaming myself. Have I known? I wouldn't have even... But you didn't pray about it to know whether she would be your wife or something, did you? Or you just, it was just your own feeling at that time? At that time, you know, you know I, I've lost my wife yeah. over two years, more than two years by then. Then I was praying, God, let your will be done. That was just my prayer. But I don't know. That incident just came to me that day, and I proposed her, to her. And uh, hey, the, the head went. was... That was, was less, less <laughs> loose. <laughs> I have to meet some of the elders that are very close to me. This is what I've done, no. Please, oh, have mercy, you oh, have offended. If I offended somebody, and the side should cool down, I said, that's all. I off you my. You, you handed off. I handed off everything. Let, let, let me let me let me ask her <laughs> because I, I'm interested in the reason <laughs> why she she had to you know flare up that way. <clears throat> no, it's so you know you, you, from your experience, um, two things, two incidents brought the two of you a little bit close, which was 
you know, you, you already know what it means to lose someone mm. and then to the feeling, you know what the person is feeling and how the person is hurting. And also, you know, that sort of like brought you together. But you were not seeing it coming that uh, Baba was going to say anything to you. Not really, not really, not really. Really, I look up to him. I uh, like his senior brother and held that in the church. And I felt, mm, you could not need anybody. Mm. This will not call me. Mm. So I've talking up, you know. You I've just taken made up your mind that yes. it's you and Jesus and no, no other no, person. Yes. Mm. So when the first time he came addressing me, I said, uh, do you know, do you? I said, ah. I looked up and I looked down. I asked him again, do you know who you are talking with? You felt maybe he was dreaming or he was... Ah, he said to me, ah, ah, are you okay? The next thing was he ran out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were looking at it, is it the same person? <laughs> that that I know? agree. This is the same person that his own friend's wife mm -hmm. will come to me, ah, mommy, we are going to market. Are you going? I want to buy something for Baba. Let's go in your car. And I'll be going in my car. <laughs> now, it's not, I know it's, it can't be true. Mm. It cannot be true. So I just, I said, maybe something else has come on me and I have to be careful. Uh, something is happening. I should be careful. So I just took to myself and snubbed everything from his side. Mm. And you cut off from him? Totally. Totally, so that it doesn't even see me again. So that I won't be having that feeling again? At all. I don't even park very close to that place again. Oh, you now move far away. <laughs> to park my very <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my. But here you are today. Yes. Yeah. Oh. So how come? How did you now, the person you ran away, all the way, the distance and distance, how did you now accept? Well, you know, they said what God has made together cannot be splitted. Right, that is just what I will tell you about it. I did not expect it. I'm telling you the truth. When I was called by the governing council to come, I said, ah, is it because my son died not quite a year ago or a year ago? Eh? What have I done again? Can this, what? Ah. Did I abuse any one of them? Because I, I know myself, I'm a very hot person. I know very well, I'm very hot. So I said, who did I abuse again? Who went reporting me again? I now went to my sister and my boss. Meanwhile, she has even heard about it, and she did not tell me. Mm. Eh? That is Mama Lori. He said, eh, go. When you go, when you come back, I will listen to you. I mm. said, okay. Lord, please go with me. <clears throat> Anyone, Tombashi, <clears throat> just go with me. Mm. And that was how I went. And when I got there, uh, I looked at the three people on the seat. I looked at them again. I won't mention the name of the office mm. and those on the seat. Mm. I just said, ah. Sit down. I couldn't sit well. I had to sit with just one lap because I don't know my What's your face? What I was going to face. Mm. Ah, sit down very well. I said, okay, sir. Sit down. I said, okay, sir. And the next thing was, this is this and that is that. The next caution, you must not go and meet him. We know you. I said, okay, sir, you must not go and meet him. I said, okay, sir, we must not hear anything. I said, okay, sir. I'm sure he had reported what you did. I think that was what happened. I think that was what happened. So I was like, okay, you people said I shouldn't talk. Eh, I won't talk. You said I shouldn't say anything. I won't say anything. And I went to him. Mama <laughs> at home. I now, you know, with my boiling attitude in the, in the Mama Lori's office. I said, calm down. 
Daddy tell I won't fail you only. I said, okay. Uh, I just, we are going home together. I said, okay. When I got home, they spoke with me. He spoke with me. And after speaking, he said, I must not hear anything from you. <laughs> Why is everybody not hearing anything from me? You don't allow me to talk. Mm. You just spoke on me. You spoke to me and you said, that is OK. I said, OK. So the next day, I took to the altar at the old auditorium. I started crying. I said, Lord, they, none of them, none of them wants to listen to me. I don't know why they don't want to listen to me. I don't know why they don't want me to talk. Mm. Uh, and this is this, that is that. I forgot and I slept off there. When I slept off, I now dreamt. I saw him. As I saw him, he was coming to me. I had some clothes, you know, some luggages with me. I want to take to the laundry. He now said, ah, let me help you take this close to the laundry that said, uh, you shouldn't bother. I said, I don't want to just leave me. I can take it to the laundry. After a lot of persuasion in the dream, I gave him the things. I said, OK, go, go and assist me. And he went. Then I woke up. I realized I was in front of the altar oh. praying. They asked me, the elders that called me after some days, how was your dream? I did not dream. <laughs> <laughs> I did not tell them I had any dream. dream. I said I did not dream. Hmm. Then one of them, late now, said you had a dream. Then I later went to that one privately because I have known him for years. <laughs> you understand? I said, hey, Daddy, eh? It is true, eh? It is this. Mm. And I said, then why did you not say that in the presence of everybody? Ah, ah, those faces there. Ah, mm. eh, I just, I just, I just, I just. Then, Daddy said, okay, go. The next thing I realized was, bag, 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 bag. The wedding bell was already ringing. Ah, ah. Is this what they call the wedding? No, it cannot be. You didn't speak to him all the while. All the while. You didn't tell him anything, and you didn't talk to her. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the next so thing. how did you come about the wedding? Coming up. Yeah. Uh, coming about the wedding, right? We talk on the phone, right? Okay. Hello. Uh, then he doesn't talk much with me. He faces my sister and boss. Mm. who now relate with, with me, yes, so that I don't grow hot again mm. with him. So I said, okay, okay. If I had got to a stage, I said, me, tell why she more. Hmm? The wala is too much. I am not interested. They said, you are not interested in what? The IV is out. Hmm. I said, eh, hey. ah, IV to the jadi. Eh? I now called my brother in America. Mm. I said, please help me out. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want to do? <laughs> I said, just help me out. They said, what is happening? Ah, they've sold my gown. They brought the cap to me. Even the shoes. I just went there and I tested it and I, oh, I don't even know how everything is going. Mm. Then he said, Baba, Baba, mate. Baba, mom. I went again. I went to Baba. Daddy, this is me. Oh, I don't know what to do. And they said I have less than a month. I have to go to registry. I have to do this. I have to do that. Uh -uh. So you have not done that. I said, do we have to go again. They said you have to. Okay, we went, we came. And that was the beginning of everything. <laughs> <laughs> So, but yes, when I now went into it, it was a different thing. It was a different ball game entirely. You understand? Yeah, but you know, all the while, 
you were chatting and talking on the phone until yes. you went into the marriage. Yes. You mean you were still, Baba, you didn't even express anything apart from that day you told her your feeling. Uh, I forgot to tell you something when we were talking. You know, all along that we have been living, I never knew she was a widow. Mm. I never knew one until the incident Happen. of that boy, boy. happened. Mm. It was then that I realized that she was a widow. Mm. All along, it's just a, a member of the church. You didn't know too me. much about her. At all. I didn't know not I didn't even know anything about mm. her than hello, how are you? Mm. We meet and then we, we depart. Until that incident of that boy happened. And uh, since that as I said earlier, I started uh, feeling that I told some of my ogre, this is what I'm feeling, you know, this one. He said, okay, that, I, I should not worry. The Lord will take control. I was uh, introduced to a senior sister, brother, okay, brother in America, Pastor Koka. Hmm. He talked. Then Pastor Isaac, who happened to be their, a, a close friend, interviewed me, called me. And I said, she, the man asked for uh, her name. I could not even I don't know. <laughs> 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 so it was what's the name? You want to her? marry somebody, you don't even know. Somebody I want to marry that I didn't even know her name. Oh. We used to call her Charlie Charlie. Charlie Charlie. Yes. <laughs> Charlie Charlie. Okay, Charlie Charlie. Charlie Charlie. Oh, Charlie Charlie. Coca. Oh. Oh. Charlie so, Coca. so you call it Charlie Charlie. Mm. That's all. That's all I know about mm. her. Mm. Mm. But those people, I don't know, they are the one that is doing the talking mm. and the consulting and mm. everything. On and your the, behalf? On my behalf. But you didn't even attempt to talk to her again after that incident? My sister, after that incident, <laughs> just like a snail went into the shelf, yeah. I went into But you wanted to marry this person. You didn't have fear again, <laughs> you know? You went back to your shell. <laughs> and you still went ahead it with It was the... one of the elders that called me. Uh, this is how far you have gone. This is how you have to talk to her mm -hmm. and they see her own level of preparation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I pick up my courage. courage. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, and you spoke to her? I spoke with her. Mm -hmm. Mama Lori will call me, the two of us, you call the two of us together, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> This marriage is very interesting. <laughs> well, oh. That is how... And that was, that was it. Before we know it, within two months or three months of... Uh, Just this interaction and... So oh. this interaction, it's about three months, up to three months. Okay. You got married. You got married. Hmm. Now, marrying properly, you had, you were not really, really, if I may say, initially when it came, you were not set, your mind was not in it At to all. get married. At all. And marriage just came out of, you all just looked at you and uh, maybe that was why he just, he knew you would not accept you, but they just have to arrange you and make sure that you are in it. After all, he showed you. <laughs> yeah. he, uh, on the altar, yeah. uh -huh, you had that dream and it was not a coincidence that you had the dream to let you know that, okay, he's having the plans for you. Now, Marin, Baba, just knowing within three months, how was the beginning for you? Hmm. It wasn't that easy. You know, someone you have never come in contact with, someone you're not close in interactive with, and uh, you find yourself in his house. You understand? Mm. The first one month wasn't too easy for me, mm. but I was trying to adjust. At times, I will look, I, know, I will raise my eyebrows in the house, and he will say, ah, ah, Debbie. I say, mm, 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 mm. And I say, <laughs> 
I will calm down with it. <laughs> yeah. And for, the more, for more than a month, I don't know, I, for more than some days, I don't even know if it's a man or a woman in the house. In the house. <laughs> <laughs> you are just on your own. I, I will just go to the kitchen, cook. When I cook, I give to him. Where are you going? Ah, uh -uh. Are you asking me? Then I was still a zonal person, and my church is very far. I said, ah, are you still asking me? Ah, I'm going to the church. I have program. I have this. <laughs> I have that. Mm. I'm not really. Mm. By the time I come home, around 8 o'clock in the night, I will, start, you know, I will start looking at what to eat. Yeah. I've told them to cook rice for you. I've told them to make um, a more for you. Hmm? Is this mm. how good it is? I will just sit down and I will come home. Free food on the table, free. Ah, uh -uh, this one is good, though. <laughs> ah. And that was how I started. But things were not rosy, you know, coming from different ends yeah. and meeting. Mm. You no, know, we had some inches, but we settled ourselves without the third party. We settled without a third party. Why? He's a minister. I'm a minister. I've cancelled people into marriages. I've, may, I've tied knots for people, which he has also done too. So am I the one that will now move out and I will start, I will, they will start cancelling now? So with that, I mended a lot in the house. You just had to adjust. I adjusted. I really adjusted. And at times when I try to play pranks in the house, he will just look at me and say, uh, Give us the example of the pranks because I... uh, You know, at times when you are home mm -hmm. and you, you decided to do hot things, ah, I want rice. Ah. No, he, because he likes laughing. Mm. Mm. Laughing with a way do. Oh. Rice is better. Mm. Why rice? Uh, I don't like laughing that way. Ah. Let's cook laughing now. Ah. Oh. The next thing will come to me. Your ma binu, your Joe. I'm so okay. He taught me how to prepare that food. You didn't know how to do that. <laughs> All I know is to do pandedia. Mm. He knows me. My gunyoko, aroni, osani ale. You pound yam three times a day. Mm. Mm -hmm. That I know very well. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, with uh, a goosey soup and a four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And he was on the other <laughs> side of you know. doing just the <laughs> no, cassava flour no, no, no. and the uh, wedu soup. And, and that's you know, But we ended up blending. Blending, mm. you know? Mm. We ended up blending. Okay, if I may ask that, you know, now you were marrying this woman that you had a little, um, I won't say fear, but you, you had an experience that was not too pleasant initially. And yet you were marrying her. So when she came into the home and you started seeing some display, what, what, what was running in your mind at that time? Mm. That's a big question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to remember just one or two uh, incidents that... Uh, almost put me off the track completely. Mm. Before the uh, final uh, marriage, marriage, there was a day, I could not remember, uh, I, I wouldn't forget. It was just like today, uh, divine encounter. After the, the uh, during the divine encounter, one of uh, my colleagues in the chaplain was looking for his wife on the altar. As I saw him coming, I said, why are you looking? He said, I'm looking for my wife. 
Mm, and then uh, she must be somewhere around that place. I saw her. She must be somewhere around that place. Then the man went. She saw, saw the wife. The wife. After the program, I never knew she was around that vicinity before God and man. After the program, hey, why are you say, say, chasing me around the altar? <laughs> what, why are you chasing me around? Okay, what? maybe she saw you while you were trying to demo de trying? describe where the woman. Yes. <laughs> oh, I feel humiliated. Hmm. I feel. That's, oh, God. What am I entering into? My God. My God. <laughs> For almost three days, hmm. I have to call, because by then, uh, I've been a little bit familiar with her daughter, the, her last daughter, hmm. who happened to be a lecturer in the university. This is what's happened. This is what my, uh, your, your mother did to me. She was the one and her husband that called me. No, I should not bother. That's how my mother used to be. This is for talking, 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 mm -hmm. trying to plead and something before my mind came down. down. But anytime I remember, I said, ah, hey, tell me what you see. But we they thought of, they thought of this, is it not a mistake I'm making? Exactly. Is it not a mistake? This one that I'm going into. <laughs> is this what I'm going into? Is it not a mistake? Mm. But I thank God I never regretted mm. choosing her as a wife. Mm. Mm. That is one of them. Then I have a challenge. Mm. That challenge was an, you know, I said earlier. I was married before mm. I lost my wife with, uh, by the special grace of God, four grown up mm. children. Okay. All of them. By then, one was not married, but the three. They were married. Three were married. And uh, there are a lot of uh, side talk and uh, all this or that among. Her friends, my friend, ah, do you know whom we are going to marry? Do you know that woman? She's talking a lot of things. Mm. Do you think you can cope with her? That was, I was, oh. Then Papa M O uh, P O Joe, who happened to be my late uh, wife, immediate senior. Okay, brother. Uh, bro brother. Yeah. Uh, brother has to call her because she, he was in the picture and lecture her, please, so one thing I want you to do for me is to take these children as your own. They talk for hours or even days. And, uh, you know, before those children, because of what people are telling them. Mm, they were hearing outside. They were hearing outside. Talks. They don't even they, want to accept her. They don't her. even want to accept her. And you knew? She, she, uh, she knew. They don't want to accept her. But with that papa, he was the one that God used. By the special grace of God, I want to thank God for today. Mm -hmm. The cordial relationship between them, mm -hmm. those my children, and her own children, and her own children uh, no, 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 no. Mm. It was just you God. You would even know. It was just God. You cannot say that this you, is you my son, know, this is my daughter. You can't dictate that this is my own, this is my own. You think they all, all calls me, mommy, mommy. mommy. Mm. And whatever, even before telling daddy, they would have told me. Mm. And they would say, ah, mommy, do you know we want to do this? I say, yeah. Hey, I will be the one to tell daddy mm. what they want to do. Wonderful. Even <laughs> If my children will give me one pair of shoes, they will have given her four, <laughs> four <laughs> pair and a hat and everything before they give before me they one. Before they remember to give before me one. Before they remember to give me one. That's Tell why I'm their mother the now. Tell you the relationship mm, with it. Mm, it is just God. Mm, it is just God. Mm, because I think, how manage? How come? Mm. But let, me, let me ask more because... It's a lot of work for you when you already know those children are resisting you. Yeah. 
and you are coming in and hearing it even and knowing fully well that they are not accepting you. How did you come around them? How were you able to? Because mm. I know there are some people out there too that have in this kind fact, of a challenge. Yes. Yeah. It was much on me, yes. Mm. Because the eldest, <laughs> that one will come at times and say, Madam, I will say, you tiny madam, please madam, calm down. Uh -uh. Yourself and my firstborn are the same age, so we are my madam, calm down. Eh? As I'm here, right? In Shakespeare, I cannot have you as a son. So why are you madaming me? Then they will say, hey, but you are my father's wife. Mm -hmm. I said, that was before. Now, I'm the mom. And I tried so many ways to be a mother to them. Can you give when, us examples? Because, yes. Yeah. At times when they come to me, when, they, when I realize some things are going wrong with them, I call them, hello, my dear, give me Shelley. I've not heard from you for three days. What is happening around you? What is this? How about your wife? What is this? What is that? Uh -huh. I will call the girl too. How are you? How is your husband? How is your boy? Oh, let me speak with him. How is, you know, I tried to create that atmosphere, that atmosphere of friendship. Mm. Then gradually, <clears throat> when they come together to the camp, we come together as a family, we pray. Mm. I do that, I will not forget. Mm. And never they come, we make sure we pray together at the auditorium. When we pray together, they look at me and they go. Even the third one calls me Yadira. He said Yadira. The party don't we sing. Just go call her and you hear in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Let us pray. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, ah, I learned something from my late father and mom. Whenever anything goes wrong, he will tell you, go and pray. You, don't, you did not pray very well. If you had prayed very well, you would have gotten that solution. Right? My mother was 89 when she died. Wow. So, and she spent some time with me. And she, you know, she really nurtured me concerning prayer. The prayer. And that I took up. I'm not in the prayer warrior. <laughs> but, but at least in the family, you are the prayer warrior. Oh. And there is no yes. all the them. provinces I pass through, mm. they will tell you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that was God. Honestly, it wasn't really me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear this because we have places where, you know, a, a, a woman comes in and um, this kind of a situation and the children become at loggerheads or the, the wife sidelines the children away from their father and you know all that kind of a thing. Mm. But the testimony today is a different mm. one. Mm. And I'm sure you are really happy. Yes. And all your fears of ah. all the things <laughs> <laughs> she did initially, I'm sure they all disappeared. We thank God for that. And today you can Let smile to God. over it. Oh, yes. Hmm. So you can look at her and uh, oh. he's no longer chasing you around now. You are already <laughs> in his house. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should understand things like that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> of course we do. But I want to ask um, this question, sir. Um, because of your past, and um, I, it's not that I want to bring you back to, you know, the memory lane of a painful, this thing. But okay. at any point in time, when you remember your, your late wife, maybe she does something, do you, do you compare her with your late wife? Uh, I've learned not to compare myself to anybody. Neither to compare that of my late wife, the uh, chapter had been closed. Because it's a settled matter. It's a settled matter. I always take her as she is. 
No, at times when there is a... <laughs> <laughs> at times when the, there's misunderstanding, you know, there's no perfect marriage. Of course. There is no perfect marriage. And that's you. When there's... Well... I think they should be in here. This is a woman character. That's woman character. In fact, she's, I'm sure there are a lot of drama and episodes in the home. Ah. <laughs> From the way she's... <laughs> when you were talking, she was already laughing. <laughs> As she says something, anytime, OK, maybe no. Sorry. <laughs> I'm the one that offended you. Sorry. Mm. Mm. I find it easy, easy to, to say, say sorry. sorry. Even if... She's the one that I offended. So when he's saying sorry, how do you feel? Even if you are ah. the one that offended. Ah. Hey. Hey, <laughs> my <laughs> shoulders up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anytime, you no, know, we had such long mm -hmm. hair in the house. And he sees me, you know, with my usual self. I know how to frown very well. You no, know, I am that, I'm a strong woman. That's what I can tell myself, mm. you know, maybe because of my military training. Exactly what I have to so I don't believe in Because of laughing. my military training, I don't believe in uh, laughing. I don't believe in too much of <laughs> anybody. <laughs> so when you talk to me, I say, hey, mm -hmm, that's all. <laughs> so many a times when I talk and he says, I'm sorry, I say, hey, you're sorry. Oh, it's turn on you. That's all right. That's all right. That's what I do. But later, when it comes to me, uh -uh, you can't even appreciate. I will say, okay, now, my husband, I'm sorry. And he'll be laughing. That's why I say you have a lot of drama series. <laughs> yeah. He'll be laughing in the house. Mm. He said, yeah, I say, uh, I should be, I'm also apologizing to you because you have done it earlier. And I have to repeat it. It must be reciprocal. No such thing. And if you say, mm. oh, Shesha. <laughs> 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 oh, but uh, yeah. really, 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 um, that's no perfect marriage. Some, I know some of my friends, they asked me, how did you do it? I said, it wasn't I, it was God. See that Only, they are not expecting the marriage my, to last this long? Or? Yes. Even to himself. I know some people that came to him. I was telling him, uh, uh, Baba, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Go and fast very well. Oh. Go and pray well. <laughs> Go and fast very well and pray. <laughs> Even if he didn't want to fast, you made him do that when you oh. showed him a little on, <laughs> on the altar. <laughs> Oh. And and truly, God is the author of all things. Yes. He's, he's a perfect God and knows everybody yeah, and knows sure. what fits everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to really say congratulations because the way Baba is smiling today, I can see the Baba is the soft one, and you have said you are the strong one. So the the two coming together, we've seen the blend, the matching together. Mm. Uh, you know, because of our military background. Yes. Our father was a military man. Wow. I uh, made this, you know, brother was a military man. Wow. She too, she's a retired mm -hmm. military officer. Every, all their family. <laughs> so it's in her blood. Blood, So of immediately course. I realized that, well. This is, <laughs> you know, we are civilians. <laughs> 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 and you know, there is a way the civilians, the, the military people look at the civilians. Mm, Even though bloody it's Bloody civilians. Yes. <laughs> Unconsciously, <laughs> it's just part of them. So when they see, <laughs> that's why I said there would have been a lot of drama. Ah, wow. Thank God. <laughs> a lot. Well, <laughs> the drama doesn't last in the house, that is it. <laughs> yeah, because you now come realize yourself it's that, oh, I'm in the house mm -hmm. and uh, this man doesn't deserve yeah, what I'm it. doing. And, uh, you know, and Baba has a way of. Bringing the military down first so yeah. that you can become ah. a civilian. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he knows that very well. Mm. He knows that very well. Mm. You know, like, um, like I told you earlier, mm. when I go out, at times I get home after 11 because of the distance of my yes. church okay. to the wow. house. At, after 11, I'm, I'm still on that express road mm. in the traffic. 
Oh, for the first time in my life. Hello, my dear, where are you? Hello, I say, hey, hey, mm. this is me, this is me. Mm. Before I will come home at 12 a.m., well, nobody, nobody has, asking. everybody will have slept by the time I get home. I will, I will just stylishly walk into the room and go and sleep. Mm. But now I have someone that is, so, that, that is always asking after me. And where are you? Oh, we are almost at Arepo. Mm. Hey, Baboni, she, the bike wheel is not giving you any problem. Mm. I say, oh, yes, it's not. And by the time I get home, one food must be ready. I will just sit down and eat. Mm? That is me. <laughs> and that's why I love him. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Uh, if I really, if I am coming back to the world again mm. as a woman, mm. I would prefer to marry him. Oh! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Baba, you have really melted her heart. You well, have already made her. Oh. He's huh? God. What a <laughs> what a wonderful wonderful that... testimony! Wow! 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 So Baba has been able. He has the key. Sure, God gave him that key. He really gave him the key. Sure. And he really made you a beautiful, a wonderful no, no. person. Yes. He redecorated me mm. and removed me to his ship. Mm. <laughs> Even when you came out tough, yes. he was ready to... Mm. Okay, now, to the area of in-laws, you have spoken about children. The children had their own ups and downs with you, but today, they are all flowing together. Yes. When it, because this marriage happened, like what they say, one, two, three. Jack that's Robinson. Happened. It was done. The in-laws, did they accept you? Wow. Mm, all the, well, well, well. Not really all of them. Not really all of them. But most of them did accepted me. And uh, for what I am, for what I am, right? Some of my in-laws said, ah. She doesn't even call us auntie. Eh? I said, come, oh. come, come, come. How old are you? I will call you auntie because you are teen. Eh? There is no teen in my house. Oh. Mm. So if I call you your name, just bear your name with me. And even those that they are not even, I just call them their names. And they are really happy with me today. They will be the one to call me on the phone. Mm. They realize even calling them with their names. They feel free with me. Even when their, uh, they say their brother is not around, I'll call them a loop. What's happening now? Come on now. Let's see now. What have we done? And you will see them coming. And they will say, ah, they are women. They are there. No? But um, one or two of them that decided to be something else, I went on my knees and told God, God, Daddy, Jesus, these people you have to do with them more because there is no how your daughter can be in that house and these people will not give me everything's place. Eh? Just settle them for me. And the next thing was, even the person I didn't expect, bought birthday gift for me, came, brought people, and that was how God settled the two of them for me. Wow. <laughs> you didn't report them to... I reported them to my daddy, mm. Daddy Jesus. Hey! <laughs> I know how to do that very well. Even though I'm having any mm. this thing, mm. so any, any interest somewhere, I would just say, Daddy. But did you observe you. anything, sir? Did you notice anything between the two of them? That's these two people that were like a little bone in the neck. Uh, well, what happened was that. You know, there's no, as I said around, there's no perfect uh, love anywhere or perfect marriage. Okay. Some of them, the reason why they misbehave that way is that they feel those children, you know, what they have been filled with, with those children, mm. they feel, they sympathize with those children. children. How can she come and uh, be... Controlling yeah. the house. Uh -huh. Those boys. Uh, yeah. But with prayer, because I used to commit every one of them to the Lord. The Lord should settle, and the Lord did it perfectly. All of them, 
all of all my family, even those that we, I can say we want to have a little bit, those are the family of my late uh, wife. Your wife. So that's where I have uh, the greatest. For my family, I have no problem with them. Mm. But the family of my late my wife, one or two of them, that is what she was okay, mentioning. What she was talking about. Talking about this is the family of my late wife. Okay. But with God, God said to everyone, and I became. Friend. In fact, if you see us in any party on the camp, mm. you wouldn't believe. <laughs> we look like brothers and sisters. The way we sit at the gathering, we talk together. Mm. You've been able to break that ice and yes. through God, you know, helping you. Mm. They have seen that behind this military person, there is a wonderful and a soft-hearted person, a beautiful person on the inside. Exactly. Yes. So they've been able to come around you yeah. and uh, not to be... Because, uh, honestly, it's a great testimony to have a peaceful home. Um, <laughs> You know, without without evil cutting, without any, uh, and you just came together, landed in the house. <laughs> he just discovered I landed that in the house, and we are staying in two different rooms. Uh -uh. <laughs> For days, because he didn't know you were married. Ravani <laughs> <laughs> uh, is a very patient man. That has to, that has to be so patient with you to. To, to understand yeah. that. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, it's wonderful. It's Thank wonderful. God. Thank you, man. And I really, really appreciate God on your behalf for what God has done in your home. It's a great testimony to, to, to go through this kind of... Uh, you, it's not a marriage of one year, two years, three years. You've been married close to a decade now. And That's almost you, you are, you, in fact, Baba is the Baba that was afraid. Now he's testifying that <laughs> God is good. Sure. And you also, you are saying, it wouldn't have been a better thing. This is the best sure. that is happening to me. Abby? Sure. Thank God. Yes. Baba can look at her and tell her. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, my God. I, this, God. It's, it's a wonderful night. I've really enjoyed myself, and I'm sure those at home watching, you've also had a wonderful time hearing um, from this wealth of experience. Um, we've been talking with Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Uluyombo for, um, for, for the past um, couple of minutes. They've been telling us of how they came into marriage, um, you know, what the background was. And, you know, it doesn't matter how it is. Having God present in your home is what matters most. And committing things into the hands of God is what makes the difference. And I just want to say thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Thank uh, thank before, you. before we go, we want to have a word of prayer coming from uh, our pastor. Thank you, sir. Everlasting Redeemer, we want to thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless your holy name for your goodness and mercy that endure forever. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for a day like this that we were able to tell good news or sto good story about our life, about our marriage, and about our family. We thank you because you are, if not you, who are we? <clears throat> you are the only one that instituted the marriage, and you have been seeing us through. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We use this opportunity to pray for those who are facing one challenge or the other concerning marriage. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, settle them in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Every challenge, everything that's made them to sigh, to say, ah, and I know I wouldn't have married this man, I wouldn't have married this woman, Lord Almighty, we commit them to your hand, Lord, settle them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord Almighty, we commit every family into your hand, everywhere, every time, O oh Lord Almighty, be their Lord and their shepherd in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We use this opportunity to pray, O oh Lord Almighty, for this institution, Lord Almighty, and all that have taken one 
step or the other, or one part or the other, in seeing this program through. Father, bless them in return in Jesus' name. Amen. Provide for all their need in Jesus' Amen. name. Everywhere we are, O oh Lord, let your Shekinah glory cover us in Jesus' name. Amen. Shield us, O oh Lord, with your fire in Jesus' Amen. name. In your kingdom, every one of us, count us worthy to reign with you. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ma, for coming on Living Couple. Thank well, you, Jesus. this is just the beginning. Don't worry. It's still, there's still more to come. And then uh, they'll still be telling us, you know, other aspects. We just touched, we just touched it with the tip. We've not touched it down, down. Mm -hmm. And we are going to dig it down. And you're going to hear that in our next episode. So once again, we want to say thank you to Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Uluyombo for coming on Living thank Couple you, tonight. All our friends out there, I'm sure you have been blessed tonight. You have learned to love and that God really cares and loves us. He cares so much for us that no matter what we are going through, he already has a plan. And his plans are good and not evil to give us an expected end. You have had the testimony tonight. And I know the almighty God that did it for them will do yours also as you key in and you stay with God. And I know the Lord will bless you mightily in the name of Jesus. Amen. I remain Oluwato Yolale Conte. We'll come your way same time next week. I want to say thank you. Keep watching, keep loving, and God bless you.